and in our last video tonight we will be constructing an angle bisector using GeoGebra. And my audio continues to have issues. I will troubleshoot them at a later time because I want to get these posted before the assignment's due tomorrow. So, to construct an angle bisector, first we need an angle. So once again, we're going to start with turning off the titles and then going over and making a ray. Do, 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 do. There's the first ray. There's the second ray. And actually, I'm going to deliberately put C at a different spot than B just to make it look a little clearer what's going on. And this is just any old angle, and bisect means cut in half. So I can make a new set of angles that are each half as big as angle BAC. And to do that, I am once again going to use the circle tool. Now you can put another arbitrary point on ray AB, and there's nothing wrong with that, and that's how the lesson shows. I think that looks a little more cluttered than if I just use point B and just put it someplace kind of convenient for what I'm going to be doing next. And that's just kind of an aesthetic choice that I've made. So I am going to go ahead and measure that radius, and then I'm going to pop that circle right there so that it has a center at A and this arbitrary radius through the point B. And, you know, like I said, I could have used a new point, but it just looks a little cluttered if I don't, so I'm not going to. But if you want to see it done that way, you can see it in the lesson. And then I'm going to highlight that intersection. And then I need a new circle, and it doesn't really matter how big the radius is as long as I'm consistent for these next two. So, you know, I already have a perfectly good radius here, and I'm going to keep using it, but I don't have to. Could use a different one. It's kind of an aesthetics thing. So I'm going to measure that again, and this time I'm going to center it at B, and I'm going to measure it again, and this time I'm going to center it at D. And the advantage of doing it this way, rather than the way in the curriculum, is that now one of the intersections is at this point that's kind of the center of everything, that's the, the vertex of our angle, and the other point is very nicely here. And so I just think it looks nicer. But, you know, like I said, they show it the other way in the curriculum, so you can see it both ways. And now that I have point E, I can use A as my other point because I used all of these with the same size radius. And that will be different if you follow the directions in the curriculum. And then I can bisect that angle. 